please God, don't ever let me feel that way ever again because it's such an ugly feeling. <sighs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Um, right now, I'm actually cooking. I'm making. Estoy haciendo papa con cho, chorizo. Oh yeah. Papa con mushroom. Y luego también es, uh, voy a poner a guisar unos frijoles. Oh shit, it's burning. Uh, so I'm also going to be trying to make tempeh and today we're actually going to give Nathan a little surprise um, Something that he's always wanted. So I thought I would take you guys along with us super comfy um, Outfit I'm so glad that I got ready you guys. ¿Qué crees que es papi? ¿Qué crees que es? An island? ¿Eh? An island on our pool? Yeah. No. What? It is a a purple light. Maybe. Maybe but that means yes. Maybe, maybe. That means yes. That means yes. All right, guys. So it is the next day. It's actually a little bit later. So yesterday, we went to the Home Depot and we found Nathan's. Oh, you, see the one I sent you? you sent me something, huh? Yeah, it's big. Hey. Oh, and they have it available? Yeah. The case, the case. It's a big witch. Oh. Yeah. But I don't know if, if si es la última opción, dice Sergio que, que hay una witch ahí en la home depot. So if that's the only option, then we can go with that. But um, yeah, so today we're going to continue the search. Also, today, um, let's get. I do want to go to this botanica where they sell sage. Um, only because I did hear that the sage white sage and palo santo which is what i have is going extinct or something like that for the native americans and it's super important to them so i don't want to use it no more um just out of respect for them so he said to comer some lentejas and then bella is already eating si sergio le está dando de comer and Nathan is also eating lentejas. Ahorita nos vamos a sentar nosotros también a comer. And then that way I could head out over there because I hate going out when it's late. Y últimamente se oscurece más temprano, so I do want to get out ASAP. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so we made it to downtown Summerlin. Vamos yeah. a... We literally live here. I feel like lately all the vlogs have been here, but they have a lot of cool stores. And then the fact that it's really close to us, that's why we're probably going to be here for a long time. But yeah, we came to the Halloween store here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that they have the inflatable, the surprise for Nathan. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so vamos a ir a ver si tienen esas cositas and then maybe get our costumes de una vez. Y cuando llueve, ¿qué te gusta ver? ¿Ti ver gotas o ver gototas? Gotitas, porque nada más no me gusta que llueva. ¿Y le gusta así grandota? Soy mediana. ¿Cómo está así? Sí. ¿Y, y con chamoy? Y con chile. ¿Con chile? ¿Te gusta el chile? Uh -huh. ¿A ti? ¿Te gusta que llueva? A mí no me gusta la lluvia. No me gusta ver nada. No more fire light. I need fire. No. La 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 la. Alright guys, so we finally got our costumes y no les vamos a poder enseñar hasta el día de Nathan's Halloween day. We're not going to show you guys until then, yes. but we just want you to know that it is, oh, let me see, it is under, it's creepy. We ended up convincing Sergio que se agarrara a creepy ay, costume. Ay, 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 ay. What? If it's Halloween, we get to scare people. 
Uh -huh. Ya nos vamos a ir a la casa because it got a little bit late, so probably gonna go straight home. If if it's not too late, then we're gonna stop by the botanica. Okay, but, so I guess that the crystal shop was really close to the Halloween store, so vamos a venir a buscarla. ¿Dónde estará? ¿Dónde estará? And then it sucks because casi no sirve el wifi aquí. Digo el el internet. So. Yeah. Where could it be? Hmm, there's an Apple store. You guys, we can't find it. They said across from Lululemon. Where is it? Oh, I see it. It's over there. You, do you see it? We found it, guys. Okay guys, so we ended up getting our crystals um, and then we also ended up getting some spears. I know I look like crap because apenas me levanté. But I did just want to tell you guys like a little life update, what's been going on. Papi, you have like two minutes. What's been going on with me and like my mental health and everything like that. So you guys know that I, um, well I barely discovered I never knew that my feelings were anxiety until I started like researching like what is this feeling in my stomach why does my heart beat so fast now that I look more into it I do things to like calm me down and it's been helping a lot so I wanted to help myself because I hate feeling like that oh si vieran como lucho para no sentir no sentirme así porque pues si se siente yo si me siento mal me siento triste a veces you know and I want to feel good so so bad and I want to sometimes I do everything I meditate I do this I do that and I still feel sad and I still feel anxiety maybe not as bad as I would have felt it but times the feelings are still there and it sucks but be there okay. recently it kind of like spiked up again and I think it was because Sergio as you guys know he started another job and obviously I stay with the kids literally like 24 hours because he gets home and pues quiere dormir porque está cansado it's really hard to handle I mean I don't know how you guys do it if you guys have more kids but for me I like to have my own for example YouTube I like to have my my little thing my my, my little business on the side and I can't like um, with the, with just watching the kids, I it's really hard for me to have that. Okay, guys. So it's in the cuarto de Nate. Así más a gusto porque he started his class again. So and I'm eating. I usually don't eat before my workouts, but me levanté con tanta hambre ahora. Like I was saying, I felt super overwhelmed yesterday, two days ago. And I told Sergio, like, I, I am giving up. Like, I feel horrible. I cannot do this anymore. And yesterday he ended up taking, a, like, a, it, it wasn't a day off. He ended up just staying home, working from home. He actually helped me out with Nathan. Like, right now he's in math. I actually have to be right next to him because he's a very distracted kid. And he was there with him while I worked out. It was super like I needed that. I even told him like, oh my god, you don't even know how much that just changed my week. It just, I feel like it was like a reset button because I was hasta el tope. Is my camera gonna fall? Are you gonna fall camera? Are you gonna fall? It's literally like a reset button for me because ya estaba yo hasta el tope ya. Yo ya sentía que, que me iba de, no sé, yo me sentía so overwhelmed. Like, I didn't know what to do because I just felt like I was slowly losing myself as a mother. And that's something that I always promise myself. Like, even though I have kids, I always want to do something for me. I always want to have my own things for me. And I want to be able to enjoy things outside of my relationship and my kids. I want to not just be a mother, not just be um, a fiance because we're engaged um i wanted like yo siempre he querido siempre algo para mi and it was just i just slowly was seeing it vanish and you guys know i haven't been consistent with youtube because literally I haven't been consi consistent these past three weeks because it's been three weeks since it started his job so again it's the same reason because i just i'm so like i don't even have time to like do anything so it's really tough 
and I just it's something that I have to get used to also though I have not been waking up at my normal time you guys know que yo siempre me levantaba a las 4 de la mañana and I haven't been doing that I've been waking up at 6 because I want to get my 8 hours of rest but I think it's like I'm not that type of person to get 8 hours because when I do get 8 hours I can't do anything like no matter how I see my schedule when I count 8 hours of sleep even if I try to stay up later I have to get up at 7 because I have to help them with, with homework. It just doesn't add up with the timing. You get me? I ask for help, you guys, because I do not want to dig myself in a hole where, you know, I anxiety, depression, it's real. It's, it's real 100%. And I can see where people say, like, ah, uh, like, I don't understand why he, they don't do anything about it or something. And I'm the type of person, like, no, like, I do not want to feel this way. I'm, I... I know I can I can say I know what it is now and I because I know that I am going through anxiety maybe a little bit of depression I do not want to be in that and I'm trying my best as a person to like not feel this way and not feel depressed and not feel sad and that's why I go outside that's why I exercise that's why I'm healthy that's why um you know, I do everything that is recommended for you to feel better, and it does help. I mean, I feel like I said yesterday, I, I when I told Sergio, I, um, I'm so glad that he was able to step in for me and just kind of give me that day to just, like, you know, because literally the past three weeks, I had just been like, like, tut, 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 tut. and then it was just stacking up because I was not able to catch up with my life my own life and i'm not used to that i'm always i've always been the type to have either my job full-time job part-time job i've always had my youtube channel um i've always had something and not having anything is what was like i was so disappointed in myself i was so just like damn i wish i could have some time to just do to make do something that makes me happy you know and i wasn't having that time so i am super glad to be able to be on youtube again do my videos because obviously like you guys know que les hablo por la camera and i really don't have like a lot of people that i talk to um here especially because we're like alone but um like talking to the camera makes me feel better and um, that's why I think I enjoy it way more doing YouTube than anything else and For now, I think this is the only thing I can juggle. Is that how you say it? Juggle? Jiggle or juggle? Juggle is like that. Uh, yeah, I think for now That's the only thing I can juggle right now. Like I said, I feel happy. I feel content right now. I feel good I really hope not to go through that uh, Ugly ass feeling again. Also, I've been taking CBD oil, which yes, I feel like it's been helping Obviously, it's not going to help you if you're having like a major uh, panic attack or anxiety attack. But it does calm me down. Like it does like if I start, come on, you know, feeling a little bit of anxiety. I take it and then I just kind of like relax. It just kind of mellows me out. It doesn't make me feel high or nothing. But como que me relaja and I'm just like, okay, <sighs> breathe, you know. And it makes me think more clearly. It makes me, it stops me from overthinking. And I just feel a little bit more relaxed. So definitely it has been helping. I think that's going to be it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And sorry that I look like this. Si me da vergüenza. No crean que no me da vergüenza, pero si me da. I would really appreciate if you guys could give me a thumbs up, share, like. Thumbs up is like. <laughs> and leave a comment below and just let me know what you guys want to see. Because I'm super inspired. I'm super excited. I'm motivated. And I'm just super like positive right now please God, don't ever let me feel that way ever again because it's such an ugly feeling thank you all so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye